Hi, this is Professor Luce, and today we're going to talk about the informative speech assignment. So you do have access to this document, so nothing should be a surprise. Um, the goal of this assignment is to teach us about something new, and you should base your topic off of a podcast, an audiobook, a documentary, basically something that's not going to be your traditional media, so you don't just think of a topic and then go find three articles. That is not what I want with this assignment. Instead, I want you to um, dive into something a little bit deeper and then use that source as sort of the basis for your speech and then find supplementary supplementary materials. Um, I, YouTube is not off limits, but I'm probably going to discourage you from going there first because it's really hard to find those credible sources right away on YouTube. Doesn't mean they aren't, it just means that you have to wade through a lot more information. So I'd definitely put you toward a podcast or a TED Talk first and then go from there. Um, that has to be at least one of your sources, and really, it should be the basis for your topic. So, a lot, of, most of the information should at least be found in that podcast, even if you use a supplementary source that says the same thing. That's perfectly fine. The major objective with this speech is to not only force you to look at other ways of finding information rather than just already knowing what you're looking for, but rather sort of exploring and finding out new things that you might become interested in. Um, in addition to that, the secondary goal is really to teach us something new, and that's going to be a key part of this speech. So once you start thinking about that, some of the other associated assignments with this will be the full sentence speech text, you know, delivering the speech in class, whether that's virtually or in the physical classroom, and then you have a self-assessment paper as well. The basic requirements are on here, three to five minutes. As with all speeches, you have up to 30 seconds afterwards before I stop evaluation. It's extemporaneous delivery, meaning you can have keywords on your notes. You must have at least three credible sources. Um, we do talk about this in a different section, but make sure that they are credible. You must verbally cite all those sources as you use them. So do not wait until the end of the speech and say, oh yeah, and by the way, my three sources were one, two, and three, because that doesn't give us as an audience any idea of where that information came from in your speech. And then you can see the other types of documentation that's required, including a work cited or references page. There are some sample topics on here, so you are more than welcome to look at these. The only exception would be Blackfish that's on there um, is no longer available, so make sure that you are, are definitely going with an informative based speech. There are some other options, of course, and you are more than welcome to explore your own, but this is kind of a list of some uh, starting points for you in case you have absolutely no idea where to start. The rubric is provided for you, so you have access to that throughout the entire semester. Nothing is shocking. These are concepts that we've talked about in the textbook as well as in lecture, so you shouldn't be surprised about this. The difference between this and the annual bag speech is, of course, obviously there's more depth and some other things that are new are required, so like the related topics of the audience, using sources, properly citing sources, those types of things. You also see under delivery, delivery counts for a lot more. You'll that should be expected, that shouldn't shock you at all, because as we progress delivery, you should be improving in delivery, which means that there's more ways to evaluate. That is the basic information on the informative speech. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Just let me know. Your topic sheet is due in a week on Monday, so make sure that you have if you have questions about topics that you ask them well in advance, it's always easier to ask questions of me about a topic and then submit it and then it's basically just a formality because I've already told you that your topic is fine. It takes a lot longer when your first topic submission isn't accepted and then I give you feedback and you have to get approval from me later on or maybe you have questions at that point. So it's much easier to have this conversation this week before you even submit the first topic quiz. All right, if you have any questions, happy to help.